This is the WL Toys F939, if I remember its designation rightly, Polecat. And this is what they call the upgraded version, which does make a difference. Um, making this video a little bit for Sergey, because Sergey was out here the other day and he had his F939 out. And he said he was having a lot of trouble flying it, and he asked me to give it a go. Uh, now, his, we were able to get it in the air for a bit and fly it for a while. I, I got it down the end of the runway and lost sight of it and put it down. But uh, his is the non-upgraded version, which makes a big difference. It was the original version. That had no kind of stabilization. And it's a squirrely little plane to fly without the stabilization. Uh, this version has switchable stabilization. It's toy grade sort of thing, you know, comes with a transmitter. Now I've got the stabilization on this, I think I have, if I can remember how the buttons work on it. Uh, he is a lot easier to fly with the stabilization. Uh, we'll see. Yes, that's clearly stabilized. <laughs> he is a lot more difficult to fly than that without the stabilization. It's not impossible, of course, but... He's a lot more difficult to fly without the stabilization. So when they say upgraded, that's what they mean. They mean they've changed the receiver to put stabilization in. And he's kind of odd. See, when I, when I turn him, he turns more like a drone than a plane in stabilized mode. I find he doesn't, he doesn't so much feel like a normal plane. He f He flies fine, but see, he just sort of kind of rotates when you operate what's the rudder. He doesn't really put rudder on, he just rotates the plane. See? It's a bit hard to show you because he's small and whatever, but yeah, I mean, it's like, it's more like, it's more like when you do, when you apply rudder on a drone where you're just rotating it. It doesn't feel like putting an actual rudder control surface on a plane so much. Anyway, we're sort of cheating so far. I guess we should try and fly him unstabilized. He isn't easy to fly unstabilized. Oops, I missed the button. Well, I pressed the button, but I didn't get a beep, so I don't think anything happened. I think we're still stabilized there. Well, or maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. No, we weren't. Actually, I was unstabilized there. I just didn't hear the beep. Yeah, no, I actually was unstabilized there. So let's try again. Now, I, it's not a very loud beep, and I'm a bit deaf. So now he's unstabilized, and he was unstabilized there, and he's a lot more difficult to fly unstabilized. You know, I can see why they, when they sold him with nothing but, oh, sun. No, I put him back into stabilized mode there to turn him out of the sun because I did not want to be fighting the Im. No, am I no. no, it's hard to tell because sometimes you do press the button and it doesn't change. Ugh, that sun's kind of a nuisance. Yeah, it, it, I, when they sold him initially, he, only, he was only unstabilized, and you know, people found him very hard to fly. Yeah, put him back in stabilized mode a minute to bring him back closer to home. See, it's really nice to be able to just put him in stabilized In stabilized mode, he flies almost like a drone. Not quite, but clearly not quite. He's still got to keep moving. Oh, because I can't, it's it, that beep, either it's not sounding or I'm not hearing it, because I can't, I get confused what mode I'm in. Now we're definitely in non-stabilized mode, so let's try and loop him. Well, see now, the problem is, uh, just getting him re-stabilized, getting him back, you know, on an even keel after you do any kind of maneuver is, a, is kind of quite challenging when he's in non-stabilized mode. I think a lot of people just bought these and crashed them all the time in non when they had the, only the non-stabilized version. Whoa, not enough power for a loop there. See what I mean? Would have crashed him there if I didn't have stabilization, basically. Tried to do a loop. Oh, it's bitching. It's, it's beeping at me constantly now, which I think means it thinks it doesn't have enough battery. That's a bat low battery warning. Meh. Yeah, which is interesting that a toy-grade thing like this even has that. Although I'm a bit... I think it may be being a little on the premature side, frankly. I don't think he, I don't think that, that battery 
That's a whatever 200 milliamp hour battery. It takes MCPX batteries. I would not have thought that he really should be out of power after that little time. But the transmitter's telling me it is. But it's interesting, the little toy grade light thing that just has telemetry to tell you when you've got a low battery. That's what that means. When it keeps beeping at you like that, it means it thinks it doesn't have enough battery power to fly the plane properly. Well, as I say, I will check that battery. I oh, see it's in stabilized mode still, right? Or is it? A bit hard to tell. I don't know. It seems to be doing it either way. I mean, it's beeping. I think maybe you can't take it out of stabilized mode once it's on low battery, because it seems like I can't get it out of stabilized mode now. It may put itself into stabilized mode when, it, when it's on low battery. Yes, okay, shut up. As I say, I'm a little skeptical. We'll see. You can't read the writing on that anymore. It's worn off. But that was a 200 milliamp hour uh, battery. It was, I think I bought it as uh, for my uh, WL Toys 911 helicopters, which also take these batteries. But that's a 200 milliamp hour battery. You can almost read the writing on it there. Yes, see, it, actually, I can read the writing on it now. Yes, it's right there, 200 million power. So I remembered correctly. Um, I wouldn't have thought we'd really used a, all of a 200 million power bar battery in that little flight because there's no timer. So, but who knows? In any case, uh, yes, he is the 939. This is the 939. See, and then they have the 929, which is basically the same, but in a Sukhoi style body rather than a Polecat style body. But I think the you know, the electrics are basically the same. Uh, hmm. So, see, it says it provides outdoor flying and ASI control happy flight. Yes, see, this is the one with ASI control. It provides 2.1 gigahertz with ASI control happy flight for outdoor flying. Um, ah, well. Um, of course, I could put another battery in, but I don't think I'm going to bother for now. Um, uh, fun playing in the non in the non upgraded version with no stabilization would be seriously challenging. I would I would crash it numerous times, including I would have crashed it today. Mind you, when you say crash, little tiny microplane like this, so long as you cut the power, you put it down in the grass, you're probably not going to damage anything much. Not really. And I believe it came with a spare propeller. It's not in there now, but I'm pretty sure it came with a spare propeller. Anyway, so there you go. WL Toys F939 Polecat.